Today we're gonna to make Rollo Pretzel Turtles. It's a super easy three ingredient dessert. Hi, I'm Aliyah Millam. I'm the founder of Premeditated Leftovers and the author of Prep Ahead Meals from Scratch. And you are going to love this. I know normally I'm cooking from scratch. This is a cheater recipe. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting pretzels on our tray. And we are going to make 49 of these for a big party. Now, with these Rollo pretzel turtles, it, you can stop at the three ingredients if you want to. So, we are going to um, decorate these for 4th of July. Now, you can use the tips I'm sharing for these Rollo pretzel turtles and make what them for whatever holiday you're celebrating. You can leave them plain. People love them. They're simple. It's a pretzel, a smashed Rollo, and half a pecan. But if you want to make people you know, you want to take it to the next level for the party that you're throwing. You can use gluten-free pretzels if you want to. You can use whatever kind of pretzel. I just use these nice little small ones, but there's also the square ones. I'm sure you've seen those. Whatever is your family's favorite pretzel. Okay, now we put one Rolo on top of each one. Then what we're going to do after we put one Rolo on each one is we're going to bake them in the oven at 350. If you look, you'll notice I put parchment paper down and that will keep them from sticking to the um, baking sheet. The other thing it's gonna do is once I put, the, put some melted color melts on top, the, these little fancy little things, I'm gonna melt those and put it all on top. It's white chocolate basically. Um, it'll make the cleanup of this sheet easier. And what I'm going to do with these right now is I'm gonna put them in the oven I'm gonna bake them at 350 degrees for three to five minutes. I find in my current oven that at about three minutes, they're melted enough and that's an, uh, enough time. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to check your oven after three minutes, see if they're melted, and if they're not, put, leave them in for another two minutes. Okay, they're all melted. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our pecan halves and we're just going to press them in. The next step after this is we're going to let them cool. Now we could just let them cool and then serve them, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them cool and then I'm going to top them. So I have put a pecan half on each of these and was able to push them down and flatten them. It's going to have all of the flavor of a turtle candy mixed with a salty and crunch of a pretzel. It's delicious. And we could stop right here. We could just cool them and stop and serve these at our next party. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let them cool and then I'm gonna top them with red, white, and blue chocolate melts. And then I'm going to put some sprinkles on them and make a fun 4th of July treat. All right, so these are mostly um, cooled. They might still be a little bit soft, but they're mostly cooled. If you don't have time to just let them sit for an hour, one of the things you can do is put them in the freezer for five to 10 minutes so that they'll quickly cool. You just don't wanna forget them if you do that. Okay, so I have melted um, candy melts. You can get Wilton candy melts or other brands. You can find them at Walmart, um, Michaels. Uh, I think I'll put a, share a link with you guys down below so you can see. And I melted them, you melt them on half power um, for a couple minutes, you don't go longer than a minute without stirring them. So what I'm going to do, highly technical, I just drizzle, just drizzle, go back and forth with your spoon, load it up. I have um, more candy melts than I actually need for this project. You really only need about a quarter cup. I melted extra because I'm gonna use them for another 4th of July um, candy project. I'm gonna make candy popcorn later. Get some red on all of them once we have some red on all of them. Don't worry about being perfect. This is not the time to be a perfectionist. Um, we're gonna work quickly because we wanna do this while it's melted. And then we wanna get our sprinkles on before it hardens. 
Okay, the reason I started coating these, I do this for most of the holidays, is because turtles in real life are covered with, completely covered with chocolate. The pecan is covered with caramel, and then it's covered with um, chocolate. Well, this allows us to get that milk chocolate from the Rolo, but then it allows us to get more chocolate from that um, white chocolate. So you get a really depth of flavor, lots of different things going on. Okay. Sprinkles. I've used the little red, white, and blue nonpareils. I added red, white, and blue. And then you'll see Jimmy's, another type of sprinkle. They're the, the ones that are kind of longer and skinny. You can buy mixes sometimes for the holidays in the holiday colors. But if you don't, I just buy a set um, that has a whole bunch of different colors. And then I make whatever combination I want. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these non pareils and the jimmies on this. And there we go. And now we're gonna just let that cool. And then once these are cool, they're ready to be plated and um, served. So we're just, you can put them in the freezer for about five minutes to let them completely harden. But actually, if you leave them on the counter, it doesn't take that long, only about 30 minutes. Okay. One warning though, you do not want to store these. Once they're done, you can make them a day or two ahead of the party and they're gonna be just fine. But you don't want to store them in the refrigerator. They are candy, there's lots of sugar, they're not gonna go bad, but so just store them in a sealed container and leave them on the countertop. If you put them in the refrigerator, your pretzels will get mushy and we don't want that. All right, so these have finished hardening. It takes about five minutes in the freezer or 20 to 30 minutes um, on your countertop depending on the temperature of your house. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plate them now so that they're ready to serve. If you like this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you see more of my videos when they come out. If you wanna see them as soon as they're released, hit the bell and you'll get a notification. I hope you guys enjoy this and don't forget, you can alter this for whatever holiday Valentine's Day, Mardi Gras, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas. Just change the color of your melted chocolate and the color of your sprinkles and you have a really quick and easy no-bake dessert for any holiday or party.